Hello, welcome for tuning in to the Groomsman channel, and if you're new, thank you for joining us. I'll be your host, Jonathan, today. Today I'll be your host, Jonathan. Uh, I'll be doing an educational how-to video, I hope the first of many. Uh, this one's going to be how to bowl lather, or at least how I bowl lather. I'll be featuring Azalea City Suds. This is a, a relatively new artisan. Uh, this is his older soap tub. He's got a new one with a nice label. I've got a sample here. Kind of looks like that. Uh, this is a one ounce sample I got of a different scent. Um, this is the Genesis base, which is his current base. The lemon bark is really awesome. I love this scent. It's like a lemon and some cedar wood, a little like woody background. It's really nice. I'll uh, also be using a badger brush. I have a Maggard's SHD um, fan knot and a AP Shave Co. handle. This is a relatively inexpensive, cheap badger that you could get. Um, the knot I, you can get separately from Maggard's for I think 35 bucks or so. Don't quote me on that, it might be off a little bit. And this is just a plain basic white knot from AP Shave Co. It's very inexpensive, I think 10 or 15 dollars. Very inexpensive. Um, if you're looking to get into the badger game. You can also use synthetic knots for this technique. Um, badgers are just my personal preference. I have my scoop. This is, a, I think, a cream cheese scoop that I confiscated from my kitchen. It's actually kind of a big scoop. We'll knock that down a little bit. I tend to go big on my soap scoops. I'd rather have more soap than not enough. Uh, I'm not that concerned with trying to conserve or maximize my usage out of the soap. There's plenty of soap out there. I scoop it. I'm using a clear mixing bowl for this. I normally use a, a PAA uh, shaving bowl because I like the high sides and it's metal. Um, but it doesn't really show the lather well since it's white enamel, so I wanted to be able to show you how I'm working. So I got this clear mixing bowl to use for today. It's flat bottom. The texture is on the outside, not the inside. So it's completely smooth on the inside. So you take my scoop and I press it down into the bottom. I want to smear it over as much surface as possible. That way I'm having more surface contact with the brush and the brush is better able to uh, bring all that soap up into itself and then turn it into a, a soapy paste and eventually our soap that we're going to put on our face. All right, so there we go, all smeared out. I'm going to tilt the camera down a little bit so you guys can see me while I lather, so bear with me. All right, I think that's a pretty good angle we got there. So my my bowl all ready to go. There's my brush I was talking about. I'm gonna squeeze from the base of the knot all the water out. And the badgers hold a lot. And then I'll give it a few flicks. I don't want really any water, any excess water sitting in the brush while I'm doing this. It is, I just found over the you know time that I've been doing this that it works out better if I start out with the least amount of water possible. And then I just go, I'm applying a moderate, a very little to moderate amount of pressure onto the soap. I don't want to splay the brush all the way out. Uh, you can, but when you do that, you're providing further agitation into your soap and you start introducing air and you get air bubbles. Um, you can do that later. I don't do that at all. Personally, I think I prefer my soap to be more dense, more of a creamy texture versus a, a big fluffy, airy lather. And at this point, we're just trying to pick up as much of that soap into the brush and turn as much of that soap on the bottom of the bowl into a nice, thick, creamy white paste. As you can see, even though I put all the water out of this brush, it still had enough, just the wetness that was on the bristles is still enough to work this. So as you can see, there's still some soap on the bottom. Most soaps, you probably won't get it all on the first go. Um, some of them, if they're really soft, like when I use Barrister and Man's current uh, Omnibus base, it gets it all on the first go. It's super, super soft. Uh, if it's a little bit harder, it'll just take a couple water additions, but probably 95% of the time, I will get all that soap off the bottom. For soap, I turn my faucet on just to the smallest stream possible and just do a little bit of water. You can also dip the tip of your brush. Um, I do that sometimes, but I find that it's, I tend to add too much when I do it that way. Or you can pick some water up with your hand and just dribble it in off your fingertips. That works really well as well. And then we just continue to work. Now this method of bowl lathering does take some time. 
if you're in a hurry, then you might want to, you could probably just start from here if you really wanted to. Just take this right to the face. But I like to keep going. I'll probably do three or four more water additions. You can see that that cream that I'm getting right now is very thick, it's dense, it doesn't move at all on the brush. Added a little bit more water, it's our second water addition. Keeping contact with the brush on the bottom of the bowl, but not splaying all the way down. that brush is getting very saturated with all that lather as well as all the lather we're making in the bowl and we've almost got all that soap off the bottom third water addition just a little bit if you add too much water if I add too much I'll pour some of it out if you try to incorporate too much too fast your wa your lather will get very soupy um, because of the extra water when you do your swirling, you'll agitate your soap more. You'll get more bubbles. You'll get more foam. Uh, when you see guys that do lathers and they show off their lather bowl and it's filled all the way to the top with lather, they're doing that by splaying that brush and doing a lot of agitation and it builds up a lot of volume, which is perfectly acceptable. Uh, I just found that I prefer a denser shaving soap. I think it provides a little bit better protection on my face. That's all technique. Do what works best for you. I think we got a little bit of soap left right there. We'll probably get it all after this last water addition. I think that was four. As you can see, every time I've added water, I've increased the volume of soap I get. That water is going right into it, adding that density, so I don't feel the need to splay. I feel like at the end of this process, I've got enough for more than three passes. I'm gonna flip this bowl over. You got a couple little spots of soap up. I got most of it up though. Uh, I'm not gonna spend an extra like 10 minutes trying to get every ounce. Well, there was definitely not an ounce. Get every little scrape of soap off the bottom there. But definitely we use 90% of the soap that we put into the bowl. We incorporate it into the lather. And this lather, look at that. It's very dense still. We could add more water to this actually. So when it comes to how much water you want to use, it's all personal preference. Some soaps will add more or will take more water than others. Um, you often hear them referred to as thirsty soaps. Some soaps don't need a lot. You may might do two water additions and that's it. Uh, you definitely want to pay attention to the structure of your lather. If it starts to get droopy, then you're kind of at the point where you want to stop. If you add too much water, your soap will break and then you'll just have a very thin, watery lather that won't work very well. I'll probably do one more just to illustrate. I think we're on, this will be six additions. There we go. Six additions of water. Still not splaying the brush. I don't need to put any like forceful pressure on there, just firm contact, or excuse me, moderate contact. Even at this point, you barely need to have any contact at all. I'm just barely whisking the bottom of the bowl. I'm more about incorporating the water into the existing lather than I am trying to pick up any more soap off the bottom. As you can see, I have a ton of lather. And that is the consistency I like in my soap, in my lather. That's perfect. And one more flip over, just cause, no, we still got a little bit of soap. We used probably 95, 98% of the soap that we put in the bottom there. This soap is super slick. If you've never used a Delia City Sets, I highly recommend it. All right, back up to see my face. That was my lather. I hope you guys try it out. 
let me know what you think about that process or if you have a better process let me know about that let me know about that as well i'd love to try something new but thanks for tuning in i'm gonna do another video here shortly where i use this lather i just built thanks have a good day